like uh, to the to the university? No. No, you don't send the hard copies. You just send the verified copies of your documents with the apostille. As as a PDF, right? Uh, well, once as a PDF, and then it was sent the uh, official uh, copies to my post address because we need to have the documents in paper as well. So uh, how is that possible? Like I'm from India. Like do I have to send it from here to the yeah. 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 Students usually use uh, the service of DHL or FedEx or this type of companies. Okay, I didn't know about that. Okay, I will. I will uh, find out the ways how to do that. I will send it to you. Perfect. Before that, I have a few questions with me here. Uh, I was looking uh, at the program, but I couldn't find the academic year start date of uh, this program. Okay, um, the semester usually starts in the middle of September. This year it's the 16th of uh, September. Next year is going to be some kind of similar. We don't have the academic calendar yet, so it's going to be quite similar. Like the semester starts in the middle of September. Okay. So, uh, can I uh, join from uh, uh, Feb? You also have a semester from February 2025. I cannot no, join. No, there's no, 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 you cannot. There's just one intake, which is in September. Yeah, there are two semesters, but only one intake for the academic year, which is in September. Okay, and so then you, uh, you, you are going to you apply for the study program for architecture and construction. Yes. And this academic uh, this uh, study program is for two years. So okay. you will start in September 2025 and finish in June or July 27. 27. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I was thinking to start it this September in 2024, but I think it's too late now. Yeah, it's, it's definitely too late because we have two admission rounds every academic year. One uh, ends in um, on the 31st of October and then the other one at the end of uh, February. So then there's enough time for all the students to you know, get their documents and to have to arrange the visa. Because the visa process is very time consuming, definitely. Okay. So uh, there are just two admissions. What are the documents required for it, actually? What documents are required for the visa? Yeah. OK. You will need the confirmation of acceptance, decision of acceptance, then confirmation of uh, uh, acceptance to study to the different documents. Uh, and they need to, you need to receive the documents uh, as a hard copy from us. And then you will need confirmation of uh, having the accommodation arranged. So you can either uh, stay at the university dormitories because uh, our university has quite nice uh, dormitories we offer to Czech and uh, international students as well. Okay. And these are the three documents you will definitely need. And documents that are required from me, uh, for you, are like my master's degree program that I have done previously. Uh, no, well, you have actually uploaded the three documents which were necessary for um, for the application, and the fourth necessary document is um, the documents related to your previous education with the apostille. And this is the document we need to have as a hard copy. But uh, no need to send the original one. Uh, can you repeat it? Uh, no need to send the original one to you, right? No, you don't need to send those three, but you just need to send the documents with the apostille. Yes, I will do that. Yeah. So the tuition fee uh, for uh, this program per year is? Is 50,000 Czech crowns, which is approximately 2,000 euros per semester. It is so per semester, together. that means uh, okay. per year uh, 4,000? 4, it's 4,000 for the academic year, yeah. 4,000 euros. That is approximately uh, three lakh eighty thousand for Indian rupees. Okay. And do you have any scholarships for the students as well, or not? Yeah, yeah, we have a scholarship for um, international students for the students of the first year. So if they prove they have good study results, then they can receive the scholarship, which can be uh, nearly similar to. 
the tuition fee. So in case you study hard, you have good study results, then in the first academic year of your studies, you can receive the scholarship. It's called full D. So after completing my first year? Yeah. Not well, before actually, that. After, after the first semester, you can receive a part, and then after finishing the second semester, the same. Okay. Yeah, this uh, scholarship cannot be paid in the second year of your studies. Only it's uh, applicable only to the freshman year. Okay, so this means uh, how many students will get the scholarship if they are like, what is the percentage they need like in their academic? Actually, I'm not aware of this information, so okay. <laughs> I cannot give you because I'm not responsible for the scholarship. Okay, okay. But uh, there are many, well, there are different levels of the scholarship. The ones who have uh, really great study results, they can receive like 100% uh, of the scholarship. And then there are two more levels. So it varies from 10,000 to 50,000. So okay. If you study hard, it can cover all the tuition fee. Okay, so uh, one more question is here: living expenses in the living in, yes. in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. What what exactly well, is the living expenses? Yeah, it's usually around five hundred uh, euros per month. Okay. If you are staying at the dormitories, you are living just like a normal life. You know, you are not going to pubs and to expensive restaurants or you are not traveling across the Europe every weekend, then 500 euros is uh, quite a nice uh, sum. So uh, college also has the dormitory or it's like I can buy outside? Uh, yeah, you can stay in the dormitories if there is enough space at the moment, or you can rent a flat outside the dormitories. It's possible. Okay. It's, it so you were you were saying about the dormitory inside the hostel of uh, university five hundred. Yeah. Right? yeah. Uh, how much time it takes for the visa duration? Like after completing all that, do you know anything about that? Uh, it varies. It can be two months, it can be five months. It depends on the slots which are available at the embassies. I saw a video on the YouTube, uh, on the official page of your university. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a one guy from India. Uh, he introduced himself as a like student from India. Um, did he also like uh, come as a scholarship student, Erasmus, or just uh, applying as I'm doing now? Well, the students from India usually come as self-paid for degree students. They don't come within like Erasmus program and so on. So he was here as a, as a regular student studying in English. Okay, regular student. So no scholarship. Okay. Uh, what about the like uh, placement after completion of program? Uh, do you mean whether it's uh, possible to find a job in here? I'm just saying about like, uh, what is the high rate of this university? Like the degree is valid to, you know, every uh, company outside there, like they are accepting it, like like job placements, you know, simply. Mm -hmm. Well, actually I don't have any list of uh, companies which can uh, like... But can you approximately say randomly just like students get placements after that, after completing yeah. the degree? Yeah. Yeah, in Australia and in the Czech Republic, there are many international companies who are open to accepting the foreign, the foreign uh, like ex students. So okay. And really what about choice. the part time jobs? Like, can I do the part time jobs while studying? Yes, we can. Is it possible? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, if you have enough time for if you have enough time, you can have a part. I have, job. I have, you know, I have a, a scene on the on the program itself. Uh, it shows that we have uh, two months of vacation after exam. So in two yes. months of vacation, so I think that's the perfect time for me. To, you know, you know, at least you, so I can join some company and earn some money there, so that I can yeah, yeah. travel as well. Yeah. Yeah, you can have a part-time job during the year, and also, if you manage, you can have a part-time job during summer. Sorry, but summer. I think that, yeah, but I think that for, uh, for foreign students, it's difficult to find a job for just two months. I think it would be more convenient for you to, you know, to find a company which offers uh, um, employment throughout the whole year. Okay. For you. So how and many... 
how many hours I can work during study? I think it depends. Well, I don't know what your schedule is going to look like, so it's really difficult to say right now. Okay, how many uh, hours are allowed actually in, in, in Czech Republic for the students? Um, actually, I'm not aware of this okay. <laughs> because I'm not a student anymore. So, okay. but we have, uh, you know, we have international contact point at our university, which is an office which helps uh, international students and staff like with different issues like um, visas, uh, work permits, visiting of the foreign office. So I'm sure this uh, international contact point will be able to like reply and answer your question in this area. So if you check the website of our university and find international contact point, I'm sure that you can contact them and they will reply to you. Okay, thank you. So one more thing, uh, intense exam. So after completing my application, uh, there, will there be any uh, like entrance exam, examination for the selection of the students or just to pay the fee and get the visa? No, 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 no. Before you are accepted, uh, you will have to undergo um, an English test. I know that you speak English very well, but anyway, this is a standard procedure. We don't have entrance exams related to like uh, civil engineering issues, but we have mainly the, uh, the, language, the English language tests. Only so English language test? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is so no any other, have, any other test? No, no, there's no any other test. So you can tell I can pass that. that. Yeah, I, I'm sure actually that you're going to... Will there be any <laughs> interview or just like an exam written or something like that? Um, well, actually, as you are not a PhD student, there's not going to be any other interview. So there's going to be just the, uh, the test, the English test. And of course, you need to deliver us uh, the documents related to your previous study, which is going to be considered by the application committee, admission committee. So for uh, for the master students, they have exam and they have interview as well, right? Not master, just PhD. Only like PhD. Yeah. Only interview. Okay. So, uh, do you have any idea, like how many students are from uh, from India in in your university? Approximately. Uh, yeah. Well, a lot. <laughs> a lot. Yeah, we receive uh, quite many applications from India, not only from the students themselves, but also from uh, ag agencies, uh, from agencies uh, which we cooperate with. So uh, at our faculty, I can check how many applications we have, if you have time. And how many students are there in, in your university in total? Like not only from India? Yeah, quite a lot. Yeah, because our university cooperates with many Indian um, agencies, so we have quite many students from India. No, I'm not talking about only India. Like in total role, what is the total role? Uh, it's like uh, ten percent, ten percent of all students. Australia. Yeah. Well, in Ostrava, actually, there is not only this technical university of Ostrava. There is also another university, it's called University of Ostrava, and they more specialize on like physical education and humanities and natural sciences, and they also have lots of international students. Okay. Yes, well, every semester we have, well, every year we have lots of students uh, coming here from the uh, from European countries within the Erasmus program, and also from um, like Asia, and of course, then we have the full-time degree students who come here for two, three, four years. So it's, it's actually quite nice number. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that information. You're very welcome. Uh, yeah, I think I'm good uh, with the information you provided. Uh, one last question. Uh, when can I uh, start the application? Like I already started the application. I need to send the documents to you now. And But now uh, it's not possible for me to join the program in this uh, year. Uh, no. So uh, when will be the last date of submission of this uh, documents and everything? Like for okay. 2025? Yeah, the deadline is uh, the 31st of October. For the next year. The, yeah, okay. this this October. Yeah, yeah, but for the next year. Yeah, like, it's for the start. next year. Yeah, yeah. Okay, not before. Okay.
Okay, I, I think, yeah, I'm good. These were the questions that I had. Actually, my friend also wanted to join, but somehow she got uh, some work. So maybe mm -hmm. maybe she, I will tell her everything. Uh, okay, so she got that's that. right. Yeah, so, you have my email address, so you can contact me anytime. Yeah, I, okay? I can join there. You have LinkedIn as well? Uh, I do. Okay. You can find me. Uh, can you send the link here on the chat? Maybe. Okay, uh, well, it's uh, Marcela Maturova. It's like my my name. It's my name. You can find it. But there will be a lot of people with that name, right? Uh, no. <laughs> no? Okay. <Fair> enough. <laughs> okay, I will search it. Okay, yeah, thank in you. Case, in case you don't succeed, just send me an email and I will send Yeah, it's you. fine. Okay. Thank you so much for your time and I, I really appreciate it. The time. Okay, thank you. Thank okay, you. Nice you too. Bye bye. bye.